This is the Germont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. From every branch of our fighting forces, the men who serve their country are coming back to civil life after nearly six years of war. During those years in the front line of battle, the people of Britain have suffered the loss of one in every three of their homes destroyed or damaged. What was being done about it? Even at the height of the European war, the government's backroom experts were getting down to this vital job. They realized that they were dealing with grim fact and that permanent and temporary houses must be built and built quickly. German prisoners of war were recruited for the work of digging drains and preparing foundations. Factories which had been working day and night turning out weapons of war were now converted to play their part in this great new battle, the battle for homes. never intended for the building industry, these factories and their workers were soon going at full pressure with their machinery either adapted or replaced for the new task. Many demobilized servicemen will soon be joining in the housing drive, which will give employment to them and to many others for years to come. Up and down the country, a steady flow of factory-made parts makes its way to the building areas as the tempo of production increases. Visiting one of the new sites are two leaders of the building army, General Sir Frederick Pyle, Director General of Housing, and Mr Duncan Sands, Minister of Works. Many of the temporary houses are being built on bond sites where drainage, gas and electricity supplies are ready to hand. In this way, devastated areas are being filled with little colonies of new and healthy homes, such as these temporary dwellings, to be used as flats. 50,000 aluminium houses, the most completely factory built of any, have already been ordered by the government. The Waits House, in which concrete plays a big part. This is the permanent Howard House, in which many labor-saving ideas are incorporated. Housewives will welcome the careful arrangement of floor space. The thermostat control unit supplies constant hot water and keeps the house at an even temperature all on one stoking a day. The Orlit house and lastly the Braithwaite house. And so as demobilization goes on, our men will see for themselves that the gigantic task of rehousing Britain really is being treated as home priority number one. As the world